Hey, it's your girl Miss Sauce right here, and it's my lunch break, so I'm gonna go ahead and do a video. I got some video topic suggestions that I want to read off, and sometimes I overlook them. If you feel like it's been a long time and I haven't responded to your video topic suggestion, please feel free to leave a comment on one of my videos or to email me or to text me. My phone number is in the long description box below. And you can go there and say, Sans Ray, did you see my damn video topic suggestions? How you just gonna ignore me like that? Huh? To the people that show you love. Really? Really? That's all you gotta do. And I'll be like, oh my bad, you know, and then I see your video topic suggestion. But so let's see, I'm gonna gotta go in here. I got a video topic suggestion from Dre. It says, Hello, Sansare. First off, I'm one of your longtime subscribers, and I want your opinion on this. Why is it that when a woman will only date men six feet tall or better or of a certain financial status, she has standards, it's preference, and it's her refusing to settle, etc. But men that won't date overweight women are seen as shallow and immature. I would love to hear an unbiased opinion, so that's why I'm reaching out to you. P.S. I'm going to come to ATL and marry you one of these days. <laughs> Me with a husband, now that, that's a freaking miracle. <laughs> you sure you wanna marry all of this? All of this? Yeah, my shirt, my shirt says selfie. Can you see that? Selfie, 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 yeah. Um, so, here's my answer to that. Um, there's this thing inside of society. It's called a freaking double standard. It goes back to that whole same thing, you know, women can't go around sleeping with as many men as they'd like to because they'd be considered whores, right? But men can, they can go around and just sleep with whoever they want to sleep with and nobody even really cares, right? It's one of them kind of situations. First of all, I think that it's okay for everybody. I mean everybody to have a personal preference. You know, people say they don't want to marry people who are divorced. They don't want to marry people who have kids they don't want to marry people of a certain race they don't want to date someone who doesn't have X Y and Z to me I feel like you as an individual you know what kind of person you are you know what you can deal with so if you decide that that's not what you want that's cool you know and everybody should be okay with everybody else's preferences instead of judging them all the time for what they want because you judging somebody else for what they want but when it comes to what you want you just as picky trust me I know some people that give me the screw face cuz I don't like mayo not bad creamy shit ain't my thing but you know women feel like they deserve the best and I tell men and women that they should always ask for what they are and not more or less like if you are not bringing that equivalent to the table then you don't need to be asking for it so there are women out there who are attractive there are women out there who have the finances that they want and uh, the money the body the whatever that they're asking for they have so in that aspect it's fair men aren't shallow when they don't want a fat woman but a lot of women who are fat or who are overweight feel like oh a man should accept me for who I am regardless to my size and you know there are also men out there who are like that so it's not just all people are one way you know it's not that oh women can get away with certain things and uh, men can get away with certain things that's just a stigma that's just you know something that uh, society tries to make us believe you get to decide what kind of person you want in your life if the kind of person that you want in your life happens to not be fat then that's what's up you know what I'm saying it's, it's a lot of people out there that like BBW you know what I mean like personally for me I have a thing about too many damn muscles like I I just don't like muscles for some reason like if, if you're hard and you don't have any softness to you I don't like it I think it's ugly you know what I'm saying I think I think it's like you're too muscular I'm gonna need for you to like pipe down a little bit with the steroids and the, the, the pump in the iron okay you're pumping the iron a little too much muscle head I'm gonna need for you to fall back on that ASAP you know I, I just don't like it you know too rough you know what I mean it might look nice I might look over and say hey that guy looks nice but I don't know if I would screw him you know what I mean so everybody has their preferences and it, it is always one way and it's okay for everybody to have their pre preferences but there is a double standard in society and if you follow along with what society wants or you're worried about what society wants then you know that men are shallow because they want women who are fine you know thing will be you know something in your life that will bug you I just don't think if you're a fat man you need to be saying oh I want my girl to be fine and skinny um yeah I'm gonna need for you to put the pork chop down and stop being delusional okay I have a friend 
His name is Pete. I love Pete. Pete is like so special to me and he's been my friend since high school and he is significantly overweight and sometimes he's skinny you know what I'm saying it, it like goes back and forth sometimes he's skinny sometimes he's fat sometimes he's skinny sometimes he's fat but if he gave me the opportunity to be with him I probably would you know what I'm saying because I love his spirit I love who he is as a person so what he looks like on the outside doesn't even matter to me you know but a lot of people choose weight or finance or whatever they choose just to fit whatever part of their lives you know there's a lot of things that come with being with someone who's broke but there's a lot of things that come with being with someone who is overweight you know people who are overweight have diabetes and uh, heart blood pressure problems and all kinds of illnesses and so that can be stress on a relationship so I see how somebody could not want that for themselves but um you know do you it don't, it don't matter it's just it's just that double standard that society tries to you know make us believe to as a form of control you know what i mean it's just that's how it is you know and the sheeple in this country fall for it